Okay, so Sunday morning, my gear shift broke off my truck. I created this video just to show people how to replace it. Let's get started. Time to work. Okay, real quick, so these are the tools that I'm using to do this job. Gloves are number one. I can't, like, you can't, I don't do anything without gloves. That's just me. I use this tool, which comes with uh, the T20 and the T27. I had another set of uh, T with my T20. This one didn't have a T27, so I had to grab one out of another one of my kits, but I have a T20 and a T27 in here and a small ratchet and this is a 5 16 socket that i use to uh put the screw back in that's holding the, the actual handle for the gear shift in position and then i use this phillips uh screwdriver and that was it pretty uh i wouldn't say it's too difficult the job is going to be too difficult but you got to have the right tools you always got to have the right tools Just left the dealership and I have the part. This is what I need. Now it's time to go get it put in place so I can take this crap off. You don't see all of that? I literally just have the gear shift resting on the pliers, but this is how I'm having to get around right now no sir let's get it okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is remove these two phillips screws there's one there and one here next i'm going to go right underneath the steering wheel in that middle hole for the t20 y'all can see down in that and remove that screw Next, I have another screw here in this slot and another screw in that slot. And it's also T20 as well. We got to get those out. Okay, now that we got all of that plastic out the way, this is what it looked like. We got everything pretty much exposed. This is the broken piece. Broke there. So I just need to remove this screw on the top. I need to remove this screw guys can see it and also right back here where my finger is there's a screw right here if you guys can see it I can't tell if you guys can see it back there but it's one right back there so it appears that I have to remove this other plastic piece so it's right here at the top this piece in here We've got one screw there two three, four T20s. Okay, this definitely gives me a lot more space as you guys can see now. All of this exposure. So now I can get in there and get done what I need to get done, which is remove this part. Okay, now I got all the screws out. Now I'm gonna disconnect these wires. So. Right here where you see this little yellow piece, pull that out. Right underneath here, you see the wire underneath that clip. We're gonna pull the wire out of that clip. And then back here, just unplug that piece. Where it's plugged in, you see the little gray and yellow tab. Push it in, pull it out. Then we can pull this part up out of here. So now that I got this out, this is the broken one. I have my new gear shift bracket here, as you can see on the top where it's broken. I'm gonna take this screw out of this one and put it in this one and get ready to install this one so we can get back up and going. So we back up and running. This is what she looks like. And does she work? Yes, she does. I mean, very smooth with no issues about to give it a spin and that's all she wrote 
And here's my shameless plug. Dared Electrical.